This one's about number two fuel oil. It's this stuff right here. It gets you closer on it. As most of you probably know, number two fuel oil is derived from crude oil. It's one of the, the distillations from crude oil. This fuel oil contains 140 to 144,000 BTUs depending on the source of where you're looking. There's a fuel that's fairly similar to this called number one fuel oil that is a little more volatile. Now when I say volatile, what do I mean? Gasoline is volatile. It becomes a gas very easily. If I shake it up, it, uh, it gasses off quite a bit. As the oils get heavier, where there's more closer to crude oil, uh, they generally tend to get less and less volatility. That means they gas off less. If this were number one fuel oil, it would gas off easier, light easier. Number one fuel oil runs 137 to 140,000 BTUs per gallon compared to the 140 to 144 on number two. Number two fuel oil is also diesel. It's the same stuff. Now this is not diesel. It actually came out of a diesel motor, but this is a diesel that would be used in tractors and things like that. But it can also be used in oil heating. Now the only thing that will burn this stuff is a high pressure burner. High pressure burners prepare the oil to be burned by atomizing it. So they spray it out in these very fine droplets. That's about the only way to get it to light off easily. Like I said, number one fuel oil will light off easier. In fact, number one fuel oil is sometimes used in number two burners when the temperature is very cold and the storage for the fuel is outside. This stuff will gel up when it gets around about 10 degrees, unless it's got additives in it. Uh, number one diesel does not um, gel up near as easy. So its volatility is somewhat lower. But because it has the most BTUs in it, that's what we generally want to use. Now as a demonstration, see it does not light. Now, if I get a little more intense here, sometimes I can get it to continue burning. Eh, good for a little while. You see, what I've done is I've heated up the very top of it enough to get it to gas off. And it started continuing to burn for a short time until it cooled off enough that it wasn't gassing off. This stuff is pretty safe to use. I don't, once you get it going, it really takes off and goes. So I don't want to say it's, it's not dangerous, but, but it can be. But it's made primarily for use in the high pressure burners that we use on uh, modern oil furnaces. Okay, this stuff also has one other really cool attribute. It really tastes good. Do not try this at home, because I'm kidding you. That's the fuel oil. This is beer. That's all for this one.